Yo, what's going on my VVOGs, my Omi homies, my fellow comic collectors, and everybody else on YouTube, it's your bro me, the Gale, back at it again with another comic drop video, let's go. Okay, so, last week we were promised a bloodbath comic, and this week we're gonna get a bloodbath comic. Tomorrow's drop on Thursday, December 30th, we are getting our lowest run comic to date. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys the drop details, and I'm going to give you my thoughts, and then we're going to call it a video. So without further ado, let's present Marvel Digital Comics Amazing Spider-Man issue number 252. Extreme limited edition digital comic drops on Thursday, December 30th, 2021 at 8 a.m. PT, only on the VV app for iOS and Android. This is an extremely limited edition drop with only 1,000 total editions available. Amazing Spider-Man issue 252. The stunning debut of Spider-Man's black costume, the alien suit that would one day become Venom. As Spidey makes his homecoming from the superhero secret wars, he returns with a miraculous new outfit. A striking black and white Spider-Man costume that morphs and responds to his very thoughts, allowing him to change back to Peter Parker at will. But is it possible that this miraculous article of alien clothing may have a mind of its own? So, this feature, this release features VV exclusive rare and ultra rare covers by Philip Tan and Federico Bli. So this comic is going to cost $7 as usual. It's licensed by Marvel. Originally published in 1984, we got five cover variants with a total edition size of a whopping 1,000. We got 425 classic cover commons, 260 vintage vari variant uncommons, 175 hero variant rares, 100 vibranium variant ultra rares, and 40 true believer variant secret rare covers. This comic drop is available globally. Now let's get into my thoughts. As usual, we like to do some research on these comics before we go into the drop. So we are on qualitycomics.com once again to see what this might be worth. So if we scroll down here, we'll see that it has had a record sale of $8,000, uh, probably the 9.8. Uh, we'll notice that a 9.4 is going for $150, a uh, 2.0 is going for $12. So this, it doesn't seem like a high priority comic. Let's check some eBay prices while we're at it real quick. So uh, we're just gonna look at the, we're gonna fil filter this out to sold items. We only wanna see what's been sold because people can list items for whatever they want, but we wanna see what's actually been bought. So we're gonna highlight the sold items. And uh, September 30th, one, a 9.8 was sold for 2,500, I was gonna say gems, dollars. Uh, December 19th, one was sold for 200, 2500 December 15th, a 9.8 was sold for 2395 So, it looks like this comic isn't the worst comic, but it's definitely not up there. We won't consider this a grail or anything like that. So, um, yeah, with, with this being seen, let's go back to the Medium article and talk about it. Okay, so this is a most interesting drop indeed. Uh, this is obviously our lowest comic run that we've had so far. And this is how Ikomi is choosing to end the year with the comic drop. So uh, lots of lots of thoughts on this drop. First of all, you're going to be extremely, luck extremely lucky to get this because if a bot doesn't get it, then a whale probably will. So uh, I think I think Ikomi is testing the waters here with this limit, very extremely limited edition drop. Um, you know they're gonna they're gonna get a lot of data from this drop. You know. Um, because we've, we've, we've seen a drop as high as 70,000 and our um, normal drops or our drops on average hover around 30 to 35 editions. So to drop a thousand edition comic, I think this is going to give them a lot of data. This is going to be a, a question of popularity versus scarcity, because obviously in the real world, this comic uh, isn't going going for that much and people it's not in high demand. Right. But. When you introduce scarcity like this of a thousand editions, that changes the factors a bit. So uh, normally our secret rare comics have an edition size of like 600 and 250 at the lowest so far, but to introduce a 40 
edition size secret rare that is going to shake some numbers up and this could be our highest this could be our highest uh priced secret rare comic in the history of eevee just due to the scarcity so scarcity does play a factor and and, and the market will decide we're going to find out soon enough um how much the scarcity over real world value play an uh, effect in these comics so this comic is pretty solid this a uh, secret rare cover usually when it has a white background it's one of the better comics and this one is pretty clean the rumors are true so um yeah we're gonna find out a lot of information it's gonna it's gonna change it's gonna be a paradigm shift a paradigm shift in the vv secondary market because it was believed by a lot of people that 250 was the smallest edition size that we'd ever get so that goes to show you that you, uh, it's best not to assume anything you know we might see a, a 10 we might see a 500 comic run in the future um you know people believe that this is a test a test run of this comic but who's to say that they won't have more multiple thousand edition runs you know i think i think vivi and akomi and marvel they're playing 4d chess with these drops obviously every drop has meant something so far you know whether it be teasers to future movies or uh, introductions to uh, show television shows that come out like a few days after or you know you know it's, it's been advertisement or whatever so far so you know this drop definitely does probably mean something and if you're not familiar with this uh, cover right here this cover is uh, very similar to Amazing Fantasy 15 which we thought would be dropping uh, this week and that comic is definitely a grail piece. That's one of the comics that you're going to want. So it's very interesting that this comic is, the cover is very similar. It just has the the Venom or the, the black costume. So I think based off the cover alone, it might be worth a little bit more just because it's, it's paying homage to the Amazing Fantasy 15, the first appearance of uh, Spider-Man, I believe. So my goal with this drop, obviously I'm going to try, I... 100 I 99.9 don't expect to get anything because I haven't even been able to get the 30 edition drops but I'm never going to stop trying because this is a lotto comic I think the commons might even go close to like the commons might even go close to a thousand dollars I'm thinking 500 at the latest at the least I think so I'm definitely not going to pay for this comic if I don't get it on the drop I had a goal or I have a goal of having one comic per series or whatever per issue and this might be the first one i don't have and i'm okay with that you know sometimes you got to know when to quit sometimes you got to cut your losses i'm not paying 500 dollars for this comic i don't it, I, it just doesn't mean that much to me i could spend that money elsewhere so if i don't hit it on the drop I'm probably not gonna get it unless i see a steal of a deal you know other than that i just would advise you guys to think think twice think think three times about this comic if you're willing to, you know, you know, throw some gems down on this one, it might be worth it. It might not. Do your research, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, you just got to you just got to decide what you want to do with this comic. Do you believe the hype? Do you think the scarcity is going to make this comic run up? Do you think it'll stand the test of time? Uh, time will tell. As we get more comics with low, low, low rarities and stuff like this, low mint sizes. Uh, you know, the comics will level out as we see how the market reacts to value versus scarcity versus popularity. So with all that being said, let's move on. I just want to end this uh, video with a tweet from Comics and Crypto Podcast Twitter page, a well-respected voice of reason within the comic, um, you know, the comic uh, sphere. And it goes, I know the scarcity of this comic is exciting, but make sure to always research your investment before buying in. Ask yourself questions. What's the physical value in scarcity? Will this comic stand the test of time on Vivi? Why? Remember to always invest in the comic first. So this is very sound advice. Do not go, do not dive head first into something that you do not know nothing about because you could get wrecked. So just, you know, always do your research and yeah, just some good advice. And yeah, let's move on. And that's the video, my friends. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. If you learned something or enjoyed the content, feel free to drop a like on the video and consider subscribing for more VV content like this. So, our most scarce comic to date. Please do not be upset if you don't get this. This is truly a lottery. 
Um, yeah, I mean, it'll be a miracle to get one. I mean, but somebody's got to win, right? So definitely try if you got seven gems. You know, what's the worst that can happen, right? So, yeah. Uh, with all that being said, we will have a a collectibles drop on Friday, and that should be the last drop of 2021. So do not go crazy with this comic if you don't think you need to. Save your gems, because, you know, Ikomi should end the year with a bang, I'm assuming. And with that being said, I am not a financial advisor. Nothing I say is financial advice. You want to know why? Because I am learning just like you guys. I'm just your friendly neighborhood genius, sharing his thoughts and opinions and updating you guys on this awesome app known as Vivi. So take everything that you hear from me with a grain of salt because things could change, change, change. And with that being said, thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Until then, peace out and hodl strong, my friends. Good luck. Later.